guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So we're gonna get back into that One Piece with anime episodes 872, 873, and 874. I can't believe we're nearing the end. Even episode 871 said it. It's like, it's finally over! Like, that's literally the title. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the episode and play. Man, that logo is just so high quality that I have to watch it. That cat logo. Yes, we got superpowers. Alright. The song is getting a little better. I mean, it's the same, but like... The only line I know is, yes, we got superpowers. Uh, anyways, the Katakuri and Luffy fight. I remember back when I was reading the manga... There were people arguing, like, what really happened. Did Katakuri let Luffy go? Did Katakuri actually lost? My personal opinion is, I think Katakuri let him, let Luffy win, right? Because there were so many chances, like, he almost fell on his back, but he always, like, you know, pulled, mustered the strength to, like, force himself forward, okay? And he always had this, like, ideal look, like, you know, subconsciously, you want to look good to people. It's, so, you know, he. I think he liked the idea of being the big brother that everyone loves and stuff. But after the thing that happened with Flampe, like, he, he threw off that image. Like, it's... He threw off the scarf, ruling his face, and it's all about his, like, bare skin fighting. Yeah, just the raw strength of it, and... Uh, Obviously, it looks like he still could have kept fighting Luffy, right? But it looked after he asked the question, "Are you gonna come back?" Like I think he wants to fight Luffy again in the future. Like he wants to see what Luffy can become. You know, like he's like, you know, some I don't know. It's like you, when you see those fight where you're like, "Wow, this kid has potential." Like I want to see what this kid will become in the future. I will let him go for now, and in the future, let's have, like, a real match. Yeah. And I, I think Katakuri is, like, 48 years old, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But I remember, like, reading an SBS, and Oda said he was 48. And I, the first time I read that, I was like, shocked. 38 or 48? But still, I, yeah. And he still looks really good for a Jay. He's fighting so well. And Oven and Daifuku are his, like, triplet twins. Tri triplets? Yeah. Oh, we're, uh, that was fast. Yeah, I remember in the manga, it wasn't, like, shown clearly. Some people thought she was telling Sanji to stop smoking. But it's a kiss, right? See, see, look! See, for the whole mirror's hair. See, he let himself fall back. He was up. He could have gone either way. Look, out! Yeah, like... He's released from all the stress of being the big bro. I just wish there was some, like, musical piece there. I, I should keep, stop talking about that, but, yeah. Ah, Peckums. <laughs> Alright, oh my goodness. When they come out of that mirror, disaster. Mayhem is going to happen. <laughs> wow, they're literally just 
standing and waiting. There's no phones for them to look at. Yeah. I mean, what if he was late? But... Yeah, they got them alarms and Yeah, looking like from afar, so many ships. They had hours to prepare. Oh my god, Miss Chopper. You're so cute, I can't take it seriously. Oh, from behind, too. I was like, did we multiply? Like, clones? <laughs> no. Hey, you said that like the last 10, 20 times. The soundtrack that's playing right now. Knock you over when he jumps out. Man, these are like the people who are waiting to get in on Black Friday. Like, come on, is it time yet? It's one o'clock. Why aren't the doors opening? <laughs> There's nobody around, Brule, to hear you. Oh, man. I want to see Peckham still on form. You, first, you gotta take off those sunglasses. <laughs> Looks so cute. Oh, we're actually getting a backstory?
I don't even remember if that flashback was in the manga. Yeah, might as well let it out loose. <laughs> Good thing he knows where that mirror is. Thank you, Peckhams. Brothers to the end. Mm-hmm. It's not even sad enough feeling like the emotions. <laughs> Hope they use her as a shield. There we go. Oh my god! Where's Luffy? Oh, okay, I'll recognize him, yeah. What's happened to Brulee's face? Oh, okay. There we go. Hawaii Emoto? He can burn things on site? You gotta remember Pedro's death invigorates that anger. I wanna see Elvin get punched. Oh, it was in his pants? Oh, damn. <sighs> I feel like they've been using a lot of the Sanji posters. 
Well, every one of us is in a die pinchy. Big pinch. And that's a weird way of saying it. Oh, I wonder if that's one of the legendary swords. <gasps> oh! Yeah! Let's get out of here! <laughs> you deserve it, Luffy. Let's get air walk out of here. Skywalk out of here. Oh man, they can do too. How dare you cut his precious hair? Go, 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 go! Pickums! You can't be down that easily. Maybe because he hasn't looked at the moon enough? I like that they're giving Pickums a lot of screen time. Because... Yes! Use that! Fill up the anger! Rampage! Oh! I was just out of control hitting anyone. Well, damn. I thought he was hitting him, like, out of here. No. You're joking! No! Uh, I see what they're doing. Yeah, I know. There's so much I want to say, but I'll say it after the episode. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, because this is slightly different from what happened in the manga.
Thank you, Peckums. Don't look! Don't let his sacrifice be in vain! Keep going! Man, they just totally skip the Peckums and... Hmm? What happened? I, like, I really generally don't remember what happened. Nani? Oh, I was thinking like the mermaids, but no. <laughs> yes, this is their comeback. You mess with Germans, you get the army. Double six is on the way. <laughs> yes, another. I mean, it's, it's the same one from before. Have they upgraded it? Because I remember that, the K part, I remember. Oh, the zero, right. It's like playing a back. <laughs> Rage you. Ah, yes! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just really quickly, like, in the manga, I don't even remember Peckham's fully transforming, so I wonder if they asked Oda for designs. Like, I didn't want to say it in the middle of the episode and spoil it for some people. Like, if I said, oh, did Oda design it, then they'll be like, oh, you didn't show it in manga. So, I didn't want to say that. But, yeah, I the only part I remember was, like, Peckham's was in the middle of transforming. He didn't get to transform, but, like, the other, uh, the other Charlottes, like, put him down, and I guess they, like stab them with sword and you can see here like they all had their like spears but not rods and it like pierced through peckums yeah in the manga he didn't really do a lot but here they try to make his part bigger than it actually is by actually showing like a small flashback which that was in the manga where they said oh pedro was the only one who can stop me but here they showed an actual transformation which i don't remember in the manga that they did yeah here you could actually see him transform but it really sucks because since it doesn't happen in the manga they can't like elaborate that much on it like when he's trying to help sanji i know sulongs are really strong but i don't know like will a single hit from sulong peckums actually do that much damage to sanji that he'll just like knock out like so I, I can't tell, right? That's why it's like really hard to judge power levels, especially when you have like a filler scene. He, you did see him take out some of the Charlottes, which I think they want to show happen. But like with San, whenever Sanji kept looking back, cause like when Sanji knows what to do, he does it. They want us to make us worry about Peckham. It's like, oh my gosh, like we can't leave Peckham keep looking back. But the problem is Sanji doesn't even know Pedro 
is not alive anymore. Remember when he's like, oh, where's Pedro? And then they're like, oh, Carrot and Pedro are like just sleeping downstairs, right? They, they can't tell him. With so many of the strong Charlottes around, it's unfortunate, but it's most likely implied that Pedro sacrificed himself here. Like, in a manga, you don't know. Like, you don't know. But highly implied, he sacrificed himself. Anyways, let's move on to the next episode. Okay, so I'm at 325 and play. Yes, meet your doom. Ooh. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, like when I saw the fire, I don't know why I thought the mermaids did it. Not mermaids, mermans. Yeah, but this makes more sense. Yeah, the Jura must come take their revenge. They could have gone away, but they came back. They came back! Yes! Got to see Reiju and uh, the boys again. Hey, you guys aren't big, Mom. Shouldn't be that bad taking out the lackeys. You think you could shoot them with mere guns? How much ammo you got? Don't you know the history? They're, they're scientific bodies. Yeah. Yes! That's why your mama wanted their technology! Didn't you see us walk away? Oh, that! <laughs> oh, you believe the fake news! You guys aren't that strong. Only maybe the top guns. And you thought you could take Goldie Roger? <laughs> you don't even recognize your people's voice? Should've went yourself. Hey, you- When is it- I dumped them in the sea, you're thinking they'll be drowning, but they're still floating. Hey, pirates fight. Nothing is fair. You got a whole army. What are you complaining about? I don't know if this is a bad idea, but maybe he could use Luffy as like a bulletproof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. Like, I feel like they gained some respect for Sanji. Like, they're not even calling him worthless brother. They're just like, go Sanji. Like, the name, the importance of a name. And there's... Ah, I mean, before it was like, that tone like, oh, Sanji. But... Like, after Sanji saved them, I, I, I'm sure they must have a new... They see a new light in Sanji. Hmm, we'll get to you later, big guy. 
Yeah, you guys have Snap, a sweet commander. What's he doing? And yet you're still many feet away, many meters away. Daifuku, you better be rubbing that lamp. Get that genie over there. Your people fought. Uh, you just rubbed a genie. Enemy of an enemy is a friend. Kind of. Temporary alliance. But their, their target isn't us. No, Brooke. Not the time. Pick your moments. Gotcha. Omokachi! <laughs> I bet Brule can't believe her side is losing this badly. Brule, you better do something if you don't want... <laughs> if you don't want our side to lose so bad. Your side. So get your butt over there! Stop complaining! Hmm. Oh, 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 she's gonna do it. I don't know why, but <laughs> she saw it. Oh man, her eyes are red already. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I like a mixed feelings, but why does she say it out loud for everyone to hear it? Like, Is it, I mean, this will make everyone angrier to catch Luffy, but maybe she couldn't contain her feelings. She just had to say it. Yeah, angers someone up. Yeah, before they're like, we're playing games. Now it's serious. <laughs>
Oh, shoot. We're only halfway. I thought, like, the episode was gonna end. Oh, yeah, but... I don't blame Oven. This... I don't blame anyone, like... Even myself, like... Katakuri, in my opinion, he let Luffy win. He... But no one saw how amazing that fight was. Come on, come on! <laughs> Holy crap, did you shoot a hole through of it? Man, these brothers. See, I, I, they're they're acknowledging Sanji too, which, yeah, just compared to the past. Oh, goodbye, Ichiji. Oh, damn! I wonder what ability his stick has. Oh! Oh god! The bigger the better. Oh! Even his hands can... I love like the words, so bold and like comic like. Yeah. Those captions, like, I don't know, intensifies this scene. Whoa! Damn! Goodbye, Yonji. Holy moly! How'd he get there? Please let there one before Reiju! Please, oh my god, you must! And fight and carry them off again? Oh, then why do you have to call him that? Then why'd you save him, huh? Repaying the flavor? Goodbye, Niji. Pick it up and do something! <laughs> ah, I love the chaos. When it's on our side. <laughs> Come 
come on. Yes! Yes! Goddamn. What a painful way to die. Yeah, I was just gonna say, who's gonna hurt my little brother? Oh, I wish they had a moment! Are they... Will they? Thank you, anime. Thank you, anime, for incorporating this scene. <laughs> you got that right. The way she said, she said Janne is like, I'll see you again kind of goodbye, not like farewell goodbye. So I hope they meet again in the future. I hope. The best brother in the world. Ah. <sighs> Bad. I don't want to look in the camera. I think I look like a mess. <laughs> He's already skipping. <laughs> ah, and I love how they ended. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, I don't remember them putting like the Reiju scene in there. So I do remember the Germans had to go and save Sanji. And the way the anime did it, did it justice. I loved how they came in and like it showed a little flashback of how their relationship used to be and now how it is. Like, 
in a way they are paying him back because you know how judge says i don't want to owe you one so we're gonna pay you back by helping you guys out but in a way i feel like the brother sister you know but you know rage has always been on sanji's side the siblings they all genuinely wanted to help sanji like i, I don't know about niji he's still calling him a failure but he says it with like a charm like a hint of affectionate Actually, no, I, don't, I'm, I take that back. Uh, <laughs> they don't say it in, like, a negative way anymore. The part where Reiju, I was scared, like, the anime was just gonna have Reiju, like, defeat the enemies and then just look up and say, like, goodbye, little brother. But no, she jumped in, carried them part of the way, and then they're, like, it's a little sad music. It's, like, a happy moment, but, like, a slightly sad music. And then all of the great things she helped Sanji in the past, and then... It's like goodbye, the best, the kindest little brother in the world. Oh, and then everyone, there, and Sanji's almost back to the ship with Luffy. And it's just all good. It's all going great so far. Can't get worse than this, right? Ah, oh, these episodes are going so good. Oh. These episodes are one of the reasons why they make up for the slow episode. Like how amazing the quality of animation, the sound everything ah i love it i want to watch the recap if i watch the recap the previous episode is good and uh yeah 246 and play you mean attack sanji for okay take yeah it's luffy because they're angry at luffy yeah but when brule said he defeated Man, these attack with the bold, colorful captions. I love it. Yeah, look at, like, e Niji's hair, too. Like, that moment, he had time to, like, attack? And so, is, is he still carrying him or he let them down for a bit? The sparkling sound. Uh, if they put, uh, I wish they put the Reiju part in the recap, but I guess like if they put so much in the recap, just you don't even need to watch the episode, <laughs> just watch the recap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the one on the side. Food, get the food ready right now. 
No, Sanji, he need, he's in the moment. I know, right? Yeah, he's probably like, let Luffy, yeah, treat Luffy first. And you haven't hit them yet! What's here? Oh, injured citizens? Oh, how nice of her. Well, this is her town, so... Yeah, these people are worried about the real issue. Like, stop chasing Mugiwara. Focus on... Yeah, ice cream down. Oh, it's run by Chiffon? Oh, even, even better. That's her island? Oh. He gots to see this. Oh shoot, she's so skinny! I'm surprised you haven't jumped off yet. You'd be like swimming and drowning in the sea to get it. I guess Beige has to abandon the ship. Well, actually, they're staying. Staying to the end. Like on Thriller Bark, where... <laughs> oh, the ship. The ship. Man, but she has some high metabolism. I mean, if she doesn't eat for a few hours, how skinny she gets. Man, that cake is so beautiful. Just... Ah, oh, go back! I want to see her eat it!
Yeah, he had his arm chopped off. He's only losing the candy as a... Uh... Yeah, how can they stop her from eating it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure even if there was poison, she'd be strong enough to withstand it. Oh, the cake. Oh, no, the cake's not green. It's imagination. <laughs> That's a big imagination. Oh yeah, the cake could taste bad. But Sanji, but they don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Or there's no poison and she loves it. That could be a possibility. Yeah, everybody knows. Oh yeah, that's totally right. And she actually has a Russian roulette. <laughs> Why you let him roam around for so long? He even said it like out loud earlier. Like, I can't wait for the news. You guys his own fault for being careless. Come on, believe. You love that cake too, Beige. Look at him, he believes in his wife so much. Finally, let's go! Man, you know, it's long when I thought the episode was done. We're only halfway. <sighs> yeah. Another reason is I think they prolong the scenes. It's like, have certain scenes in one episode. Because if too fast, then jam too much in one episode. I get it. Meh.
Oh dear. They're right in front of you and you didn't see it. Your own fault. Even with all this going on, he wants the answer. Just, if you love someone, do you need a reason? Yeah. So many great moments we have, you never know, Judge. We've been through so much in the last 20 years. Ash, two years, but... <laughs> Bye! See ya! Haters gotta hate. Another person can absolutely it can absolutely annoy someone. It just what you like. Your judge does not appreciate Luffy. All the more appreciates. Oh crap! <sighs> that piece of shit judge. Ah, uh, let's move on. <laughs> And then the ships came around. Yeah, see, that's why I mean the genie, he could have done that from the beginning, but I guess it's more effective, he's waited.
Come on, let it come. It is him, the great, um, I think his name was like Wada Matsu. A oh, hordy. Wadatsumi, yes. Oh, yeah, he thought his brothers left. <laughs> oh, we came to say goodbye. How can you sweat underwater? <laughs> Join the Straw Hat Grand <laughs> Oh, man. These episodes are just going fantastic. I emphasize it every single episode. But, right? The last few episodes have just been so good and juicy and just great everything about it. Yeah, from episode 872, we got to see the backstory of Peckums with changing into the Sulan, which, like I said earlier, was slightly different from the manga version that I remember. I can't remember too much because bad memory. It's been like a year wait, since I've read it. Yeah, I can't believe it's been a year. But yeah, the last thing I remember in the manga... Pe Peckums didn't even get a chance to transform. He was in the middle of transforming and then like they were holding him down and he didn't get to do much. And uh, yeah, everything else was pretty accurate. I don't have anything bad to say about the drama scenes. Everything that happened there from those bold colorful captions, like the their transformation we got to see again. I'm not sure if they added extra scenes because like I felt like parts we didn't see but I remember the cape part definitely and then they also used that like the halftime logo in in uh at the end. Oh that looks so good and then all of the brothers got to save Sanji do their moves and like say kind of their goodbyes not really and the Reiju moment was just such a sweet moment. Goodbye to my kindest brother. I hope they meet again and then he lands on the ship and it seems like it's all going well and then next episode smoothie daifuku they somehow got closer and you know they just keep complaining so i'm like oh we got an upper hand we're somehow gonna escape and then oh they got ships in front of us and they're like oh damn it also on the side we got a uh, big mom ready to eat the cake that part was a little bit slow because i'm like you're right there big mom why haven't you jump off that cloud i mean that sun and started like eating the cake right it i know they're building it up they want that tension make the time go on like they definitely could have made it shorter but like i said they want to fit certain parts in the episode so you know at the end like you can't just continue that scene they want to leave the episode off at like jinbei meeting his like fishman brothers so <laughs> i love that petals petals only thought the cake was poisonous he's like one it's poisonous she'll die. <laughs> Two, it's poisonous. It won't affect her, but it tastes bad, which will just make her rampage more. The third option, which is pretty much the one they want to happen, she eats the cake, poison won't affect her, and it tastes absolutely delicious and stops her rampage because they cannot stop her from eating that. No one's strength can compare to Big Mom. Before we could see her eating the cake, we go back to like uh, Luffy and them. You know, you're thinking, oh, Judge is there to help us. Like he... He sh he's shooting back a smoothie in them. He's gonna let us escape just like how the other German sibling does. But no, no, this man just goes off on his own. Like, why do you care about this guy? Why would you risk your life to save this worthless coward? Like, he's just naming what he thinks is like the worst traits of Sanji. Like, he's so nice, he's so weak and all that. But that's not what Luffy sees. Luffy sees like what a great cook Sanji is, what a kind person Sanji is. Why can't Judge see it? And like I said, Sanji is probably the one who has the most of Judge's 
natural genetics just because like the other three were more scientifically enhanced and Sanji is just like his natural born son just like that and they both have like the blonde golden orange kind of hair yeah we, we don't get to see the eyebrows maybe he swirls the same way as Sanji and Luffy just like absolutely nails it with the why are you naming all the good parts, Sanji? And, you know, at first, Sanji is just, like, getting mad listening to this. But, like, after he hears Luffy, like, everyone just laughs it off and just, like, moves on. And Luffy just, like, bye! Like, doesn't even answer the questions. We don't get any answers left. Like, in that moment, you kind of want Judge to redeem himself and, I don't know, say a goodbye or, like, something last send off to Sanji. But no, he sends him off like that. Like, it just sort of ruins the moment, but we don't get to, like, finish... But Luffy just saves the moment, so, eh. Yeah, I mean, it's his own fault. He was the one who told Sanji, I don't even care if you die, just, like, go off to the sea. Like, I felt bad for trying to kill you, my own son, so, like, yeah. And then he even told Sanji, never use my name, never come back. I don't want anything to do with you. You're the one who dragged Sanji all the way back in. Why? You're the one using him, and then how dare you say all that. And especially to your wife. Like, did you love your wife, like, for her? Yeah, I, I forgot to mention the part where Brule was talking about her big brother and how he lost. I guess, like, in a way, like, we want that to happen. So, like, everyone can hear. You could see Montador was like, hey, where the hell did uh, Big News Morgan's go? We can't let that bastard go. He's gonna tell tell everyone <laughs> what happened, right? And, yeah, your fault for not locking him. You have your book wide open. You could have just, like, put Morgan's in your book. But no, nope. let him sit there sipping coffee with, uh, with, uh, Stu with Stushi. And, uh, yeah, everyone knows that Luffy didn't just run away from Katakuri, he actually won. And, like I said, I think she was just in such a big disbelief, she just had to say it. And it also helps to make everyone angry about it. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, uh, Beige and Chiffon had a little a Lola moment where, you know how Lola was staying behind for a straw hat? Like, I still believe, like, if I'm gonna go down, go down with them, like, I believe in them. And she's just like, I'm gonna see if Sanji, if the straw hat's magic is in that cake, I'm stay till the end, and they just, at first he's like, he, like, let's get away, we sacrifice our ship, we save the straw hats, they better not die on us, but he's like, I am have faith in my wife too, this cake is good, hey, uh, Vito and Grody go find another ship, and, uh, I'll catch up with Chiffon later, like, he's willing to wait there with his wife too, like, what a great guy this page is, I mean, he's not, like, of the best characters, but those who are on his side, he is pretty loyal to, and yeah, it's only the enemies that he's like horrible to. Yeah, the last part when Waratsumi pops out of the water to stop those enemy ships in front of our ship, Sunny, we just get that sense of relief like, oh yeah, because like, well, the Straw Hats don't know Waratsumi is on our side. Just Jinbei's like, when he sees that, he's like, oh shoot, like that's one of my crewmates. So he goes back and he checks and when he sees all of his crewmates, and they're all like, we're willing to support you till the very end, former captain. Like, we're not staying because you told us to go. We're staying because of our loyalty to you. Like, oh, and then Jinbei, you know, he's he's worried for them. These are his fishmen brother, and he didn't want them, but now that they're here, you know, mixed feelings. But, oh, I can't wait to watch the next episodes. Oh, these episodes are fantastic. Mm. Yeah, I must have mentioned that like 10, 15, I don't know how many times this episode. Just so amazing. Yeah, I, I need to look up the, I need to get a thesaurus and look up all the synonyms of, of like amazing. And it just pop up and like I say it in every single video. Marvelous, fantastic, spectacular, phenomenal. And I love the chaos mayhem that that happens yeah just like you know like any with any lobby you mess everything up and you know sometimes the enemies are so dumb and the luck it's not really luck but kind of and it's like on our side and oh it's just so sweet and then when they play like that music you know when like you win and everyone's together any lobby is possibly my favorite arc i don't want to say for sure because so many great arts but i think any lobby is my favorite arc like i rewatched that rewatch reread that arc so many times so like when when they play all those songs that i, I know and i love it's uh, it just like you know evokes that emotion that i love oh, love it and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. And please leave your comments and questions down below. I'll be sure to read them. And uh, see you guys for the next reaction. Peace out.